Can you give us a little, you got a minute for a quick nice breakdown? You, this is Auditing America. He was mad. I took him to an event last time up in Boston. He said, you didn't tell me. Good to see you, brother. He said, you didn't tell me that, that this dude right here was the inventor of email. So could you talk about that briefly and then what's going on here today, Dr. Shiva? And thank With you for your tireless work. work. Well, e email was created by me in a health sciences institution when I was... 14 years old. It wasn't done by the military industrial complex. Mm. You remember the old inbox, mm. outbox folders? You guys may not remember it, but the way organizations ran was you had a secretary, she had a typewriter, she'd write a thing called a memo, she'd use carbon paper, and this was an entire system. We're not talking about sending simple did -did -did text messages, we're talking about the entire system. As a 14 year old kid, while I was working as a research fellow in a medical institution, I was asked to convert that entire system to the electronic form. I wrote 50,000 lines of co code in Newark, New Jersey as a 14 year old kid, as a kid who also mowed lawns, played baseball, all that other stuff, I was a working class kid, converted that entire system and called that system email. And, and then got the first US copyright for it in 1982. So I wrote the code, called it email, and I got the first US copyright. At a time when that was the only way to protect software inventions. You know, given I was taught to be a good Indian, was very humble, didn't talk about it until six years ago, went into the Smithsonian, and then a bunch of the people in the military industrial complex got pissed off because it goes against the narrative that you go shoot people and then you create inventions, you know? But the reality is innovation can occur anytime, anyplace by anybody. That's a, the that's a story of the invention of email. The key thing is it occurred in a health sciences institution done by a working class kid in New Jersey, in Newark, not at MIT, not at Silicon Valley. And that bothers some people. The old white boy club. Yep, you know? they're racist. Let me, let me yeah, ask you one more question. Yeah. I was with you uh, as well. Not, I didn't see you in, in New Jersey, but it seems There's like real racism. Oh, yeah, The absolutely. problem is the, 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 the white liberals do not want to talk about racism, and the Republicans don't know how to fight racism because exactly. they are, they're also racist. Yes, exactly, right? exactly. So you, you never really discuss real racism, but there is real racism. This guy's a true iconoclast. What's going on here briefly today, but more importantly, how can people support you and support your campaign? Because well, we need somebody like this who's a polymath in office, we don't need a lawyer or somebody that bends over for lobby lobbyists. Yeah, for, first of all, the first thing to remember is, you know, I'm running in Massachusetts for U.S. Senate. Last year we ran as a Republican. The Republican establishment was so afraid of us, we ran as independents. And it was a huge victory, let me tell you why. Even though we didn't beat Warren, we are the ones who destroyed her presidential career. We're the ones who sent her a DNA test kit three times. We're the ones who had only the real Indian can defeat the fake Indian all over. And we went at it hard while the GOP establishment was pussyfooting around her in Massachusetts. And we got 100,000 votes, five times more than any independent candidate in Massachusetts history. So that was a huge victory. This year we're running as Republicans. And the important thing to recognize is that the that our campaign is based on three things truth freedom and health it's not about uh kowtowing to the liberal racist democrats it's about fundamentally based on the fact that if we're going to get health it's about freedom and without freedom you can't do science without science you can't do health and that's what that's what our campaign is about you can go to shiva for senate and help us out but today i'm going to be giving a talk on science and the fact that the entire vaccine program starting from John Kennedy to Ted Kennedy to today is completely a blunder. It should never have been instituted because it's based on old and fake science. And can you just spell that website, please? Sheba for Senate. This man is a true tyrant slayer. God Thank bless you. you. Keep up the fight. Thanks, They're not an many honor to meet you. Class you. That How's stand going? up for the people and slay both sides. This guy's a true hero. Go to Sheba for Senate and let's the change the world. The people we have to be aware of is a not so obvious establishment. It's easy to see the establishment, but the, those people who claim that they're fighting and actually sell people out and start tweaking the legislative system don't want to build a real revolutionary model are the ones we should really watch out for because they always sell out to people. And what do we say on Auditing America? We say no sellout. That's right. <laughs>